My name is Kevin Tate. Glad to be here with you all. I'm here at a, a location. Just installed a 7 Series FBD machine. But um, right now I'm just kind of finishing up. Um, I'm going to put the merchandiser on and then... See if there's any adjustments that need to be made. There's not really much, much else um, to do. I got um, two barrels uh, already up and running. There's uh, another two barrels that are empty because they don't have any product for them. So once they get the product, they should, they'll they'll be all set. So right now, basically, I'm just getting on the. Um, the merchandiser just figured I'd share this with everyone on this merchandiser though I just want to let you know there's there's two shafts that go on this merchandiser and um, there's little round uh, stoppers uh, that that go on there on the ends of those of those uh shafts but um i'm about to put those on now and then get this merchandiser up and then that way i can <clears throat> go ahead and put the flavors on this site had a this site had a uh a very old unit in here and it, and it uh, ended up having a bad, a bad, um, one second, ended up having a bad compressor. So we went ahead and changed it out. But give me one, give me one second, let me see if I can get a little, get the camera a little closer. kind of see all right yeah let me see how to get this on but hopefully you can see it but those shafts are right up here there's two slots that they that they will slide through so they slide through like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on these these stoppers to hold it from falling back it's a little Allen Allen key that holds it down Just tighten down that Allen key and usually that's good enough. And then what I do is I take the hydraulic shafts, the hydraulic arm, line it up with the knob right here. Then they usually just push in. Then do that with this other one. Line it up with the with the knob.
and just get it uh, pushing. Then that way it holds up like that. Uh, and then right here is the power cord that connects. Got that connected. And everything's pretty much all set on there. I'm just going to bring it down so that I can uh, set up the merchandiser now. Yeah, that's pretty bright. Pretty bright light. Seeing for this, these new installs. I'm just gonna set them up so that all of the flavors are already, the flavor labels are already in place. Like I said, these, this first barrel, they don't have a flavor for it. This last barrel right here, they don't have a flavor for that either. So once they, um, once they get those, they could just connect them and then let them fill and then they'll be good to go. I got a screw up here that I gotta loosen. Just give me a second on that, I'll get that pulled off. Gotta get a little step ladder or step stool. Yeah, but uh, originally this this site had a, uh, they had a, um, old style four barrel in here. That was, uh, it's one of those, uh, dual, dual compressor four barrels. So it was time, it was time for it, for it to get updated give me one second here I think I there we go yeah it was time for that for that one to get updated because sir I went on one side and they didn't want to, they didn't want to pay to have that one, just that one side re repaired and then have the possibility of the other one, the other side going down. So usually, this one was stuck. Um, that one's out, out of uh, product. Empty? Yeah, it's empty. Yeah. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Yeah, empty. yeah, yeah, it was empty and the uh, wild cherry was empty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. But when it when it comes in, when it comes in, just um, when I you mean, hook I it up just... and then hit, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you once I, once I, uh, oh. let me, yeah, let me give you just a, just a little bit when you hook it up in yeah. the back there. Uh, go here with your arrows, okay. Barrel three, barrel four. The, so I have yeah. to select barrel one and yeah. barrel four. Barrel one and barrel four. Yeah, see the yeah. power. And when, when you put the boxes on, yeah. you're going to hear the 
the pumps yeah, yeah. start up and yeah. then and then it's gonna fill yeah. then it then it that's gonna go away yeah. okay and then you'll press uh barrel press yeah, barrel one and well when you press let me let me show menu. you let me show you this one here because because okay. we'll have to when it's when it's like syrup out yeah, it's yeah. not gonna show the full menu mm. okay but it's a barrel too yeah yeah if i go here this yeah, is how, this is this is how better. that's how it'll look and then you just scroll down to refill yeah. barrel. Yeah, one screen. Yeah, same yeah. type thing. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you just refill go to barrel. refill barrel. Barrel. And then when it's filling, yeah, every so often, just come come over. Oh, okay. It'll it'll be full and then it's gonna stop because the pressure yeah. just this, this, this just a little bit just, yeah. and let a little air out. Then air it'll out. start filling again. Yeah. Okay? okay. And then and then usually when it gets up to here yeah. yeah that's you can it's gonna say down here what's filling um it's gonna say next yes. and then you hit next yes. and then it's gonna say do you want the machine do you want the barrel to freeze down yeah. then you just press yes yes okay. and then it'll go ahead and yeah. it's gonna freeze down for okay. you okay yeah yeah so but why you say it's off yeah uh because i just went into the menu uh, when I go into the uh, menu, it shuts down. Uh, but see here, I, I'm gonna go back there, yeah, scroll down, and, barrel and, one, and, barrel two on, yeah. then barrel scroll two. down, and then press that, and yeah. then barrel, barrel okay. three on. Right. Then they're good again. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn these around. I'm gonna turn these two around for now, just so that nobody, yeah, yeah, yeah. so nobody's asking yeah, yeah. you for it. You know. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, just give me a second, everyone. I just want to check something in the back real quick. Yeah, I just have to explain to the um, franchisee. That's the um, the franchisee of this store. So I just had to explain to him how to um, connect the bags and let it fill. And then... Um, which buttons to press so that they know how to fill the barrels and everything. So I think he's got it. <laughs> I think he's got it. Should be good. Just wanted to make sure that the other side was on. So hopefully you guys were able to see that. Hopefully you are able to see me explaining that to him and um, that's how you would fill, fill the barrels it's like with these with these um, series sevens you can go into the menu everything's controlled from right in right in here okay everything's controlled from in there so you use your arrows to go to each barrel use your arrows go down right now let's go over to barrel two um, barrel two is a pina colada flavor and you see here, I'm in a menu already. So it's a it's a little different than the older style units. Um, and right here, I'm already in the menu. You can scroll down and turn it off. Um, you can go to defrost, and that'll defrost the the barrel. It it will time out like it just did. It just timed out. But you could go to refill barrel you can go to flavor change and then it'll it'll guide you through each step so let me go to the menu and then see uh, on the menu i'm in the menu now now i can go to readouts i can go to fault history i can go here to this is the will bring you into the second level service of the service menu but for this one you have to press the middle button the middle bottom button and the green button at the same time 
and then push them in at the same time. And then that's going to take you to the second level um, of the service menu. You can go in the maintenance menu, settings, clock and schedules, readouts, manual on off. That's where you can turn on and off every component of the unit. You got your Brev track, which um, tracks everything. The machine totals, which is all of the all of the totals, all of the dispense cycles, all of the defrost cycles, everything. Uh, restore uh, factory settings, uh, which in other videos you usually don't. I, I explain you usually don't have to use that that much, but then you can also go into diagnostics, which is a, a real good uh, tool on this machine that will tell you everything. You can go into clear display errors, that's to clear your errors out. Factory menu. Um, let me go into that diagnostics real quick and see this is going into diagnostics. Start the beater diagnostic. Uh, start, I'm not going to activate any of those right now, but then start fill diagnostics. So, It'll, it'll actually run the beater cycle and, and it will diagnose if there's any problems within the beater cycle. It'll diagnose if there's any problems in the start um, fill process. So it'll take you into these things. So that's good. And then when you want to go out of a, of a particular part of the menu, you can just hit back. That's the back key right up here. Um, you go to machine totals, stuff like that. I'm just going to go back up into the service menu. Uh, I mean, the maintenance menu. Let you see in there a little bit. So you go into maintenance when you want to empty out the barrel and refill it or something. You go there. You go to purge, fill, drain barrel. So everything is pretty, pretty clear on these. And... Um, right here is your water and bricks calibration. That's to calibrate the water flow rate and then to do your bricks, you know, and then your, your voltage calibration. It's all, it's all in there. It's a real good uh, system, real good machine that they set up. Then here I'm in settings. This is telling you all of your settings and everything like that. Let me just go back here. I wanted to show you. Let's go to uh, let's go over to readouts so you can see that. It, and right here in readouts, it's telling you your H2O pressure, your water pressure is 81 psi, your unregulated CO2 is uh, 69, regulated CO2 is 58. Uh, it tells you your act what your active charge is set at. That's uh, going between 22 to 23 psi tells you your low side of the refrigeration system it's at 40 psi high sides at 220 that's um and then it tells you your line voltage so that's telling you your line voltage in real time you know uh your return temp is 46 47 your super it, it'll read your superheat also on, on this so it's like really uh, really good system to be able to use for troubleshooting. And as you see, like this is telling you the barrel, it tells you the barrel number right there, one, two, three, and four. And then you notice here, barrel one, everything's zero. Um, barrel two and three are the only ones with flavors in them right now. So those are the, um, the readings for it, you know? So it's a really, really good um, machine uh, to be able to troubleshoot on. And right now I'm just going to shut it. The menu. See, I, I went out of the menu already. Let me just show, show that to you real quick to go over here to menu. Go into the menu and if you want to go out of the menu, you can hit back 
or you can hit home. This is your home button. So if you hit home, it'll just go right back there right away. And if you ever, um, let see if it'll come up again. Because that's, that's another good thing for you to know. So say you go to the home, back home, you're all done. Uh, it's not popping up for me right there. You can hit that. You can um, you can hit that uh, code. Let's see if it comes back up right there. That's that QR code that come up. You can press that and um, get it to come back up for you. Right there, just press these buttons and then it'll pop back up. Wow. Let's get it to come back up again. Yeah. Right there. Just point your camera at that QR code and that will go into uh, um, the service manual. It, you, you can actually get into the service manual with that. So like everything's everything's available to you there it is so you can click on that qr code uh or take a picture of that qr code and then you can be able to um you can be able to have access to the um manual the service manual and you know that'll help you out that'll help you out some more too so just give me a moment. Let me um, I'm about to wrap this up because there's not much else I can I can do on here. Um, everything's pretty much done, and I have to get going to another service call. But I wanted you, to, I wanted to be able to show you show you all this. This has a plastic screen that's going to go over, go inside this, this uh, slot right here. And just let it slide down. Get it in place like that. And then... And then you want to um, put the merchandise material in that slot, um, mainly for it's mainly for their, you know, whatever promotion they have going on. And right here is a little splash guard. Make sure you put your splash guard back on. And here's their, here's their price list. Set that up. Sometimes, sometimes they're a little tall, a little higher than uh, than, than these new merchandisers so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to trim this one and then put it up there let's see it's too it's too wide so I'm gonna have to trim it and put it up there and see if um sometimes they have the the ones that fit perfectly but I don't see them I don't see them around or anything. So what I'll do is I'll um, trim this one down and then put it put it back in there. And we should be we should be good after that. But I appreciate you all watching. I thank you for your time.
I hope this was uh, was helpful to some of you and gave you some information. And, um, you know, we'll see you on the next job. Take care. Stay blessed, everyone.